Are you doing alright there, Sonic? I don't know if I'm ready for this, Sonic. I mean, after we took down Infinite the first time, my PTSD returned, and it became worse. Shaded mine. A few days ago. Don't remind me, Sonic. I just... Don't want Infinite to kill me. He beat me into submission the first time I saw him. And I was inches from death. That's how bad it was. For the past few months, since the war against the Eggman Empire, that event keeps playing in my head. That, and being held prisoner on the Death Egg. Those events wouldn't stop playing in my head by the time we got home to 76 Naho Drive. <laughs> When I was on the death egg for six months, I was hurt. Not just from being tortured by Eggman, but by being isolated from my own brother. I knew you were out there suffering, but I wasn't there to help you. Yes, I was suffering, but not as bad as a few days ago where I burned my medicine and attempted suicide. There are only two Sonic the Hedgehog games that ended up giving me PTSD because of traumatic events. Sonic 06 and Sonic Forces. It could have been Sonic Lost World, if I knew you'd be okay. Plus, we had to deal with the Dark Brotherhood of Solaris, Scourge, Captain Ernsta, the Station Square Mall where we had to rescue hostages, and I almost watched Tails die. And worst of all, you, me, Jean, and Aurora, all getting tortured at the same time. Now that's something else that won't stop playing in my head. Watching my own brother get tortured at the same time as me. Same here. That, and pretty much everything the Dark Brotherhood did to us, fucked me up for life. But now that Infinite is the Dark Brotherhood's new leader, I don't know if I'm ready to face them again. Me neither. But Charles and Gemma would not want me to give up on this mission. To finish off the Dark Brotherhood once and for all. They would definitely not want to see me throw away my medicine and my gadgets. Or watch me attempt suicide right in front of their eyes. But I swear on Charles and Gemma's grave that I will crush the Dark Brotherhood of Solaris. And I will crush Infinite and make sure that motherfucker stays dead. Hey guys, I just thought I'd come up here to check up on you two. We're doing okay, Calvin. Not for that conversation you two just had when I was walking in here. Wait, were you eavesdropping? No, I'm not the eavesdropping type, Calvin. Okay, fine. I was listening into your conversation. I'm just still glad that I'm a loyal member of the Guild of the Golden Eagle. Even it will pay for all the damage he caused us in the past. And he will also pay for being the great, 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 great grandson of one of the most feared figures in all of history. Balthazar the Belligerent. When I learned about Balthazar in high school, he was a pretty messed up dude. I mean, I knew that the Dark Brotherhood would continue operating today, but the history book said that Balthazar never had any children. What the hell is up with that? I don't know. Calvin, would you mind having a seat with us? Sure. Calvin, are you afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid to go up against Infinite again? To be honest, yes, I am afraid. So are we. We have to do this for the fate of the world. Our previous leader wouldn't have wanted you to give up the fight this early on and let the Dark Brotherhood keep up with their mass genocide. The Guild of the Golden Eagle was created to fight back against the Dark Brotherhood. Surely you remember that. How can I forget? I just recently went through a lot of hell. The last thing I want out of this is more dead bodies. Least of all, you. What, you think I'm gonna die after all this? I mean, Sonic Forces is pretty much the only game I will ever appear in. I just hope none of you die. To be perfectly honest, death has always been my greatest fear. That's why I was scared to go up against Infinite at first. Because everywhere he went, he would leave behind a trail of dead bodies. I guess he gets that from his ancestor, Balthazar. When I saw how powerful he was, that's when I felt that giving up was the only way I could get out of it. Until I was found by the Resistance. And the fact that the very same Infinite is now leading the Dark Brotherhood of Solaris? It's just putting too much pressure on someone like me. Not just you. By the way, does this train serve refreshments? Yes, but nothing too fancy like lobster thermidor, fettuccine alfredo, roast beef with gravy, sirloin steak frites, bangers and mash, bacon lobster mac and cheese, garlic mashed potatoes, chili dogs or pizza. 
but they do have chips, candy, peanuts, bristles, and soda. Why the hell are you asking us this when we're trying to have an important conversation about Infinite and the Dark Brotherhood? Well, you know what they say, can't make a battle plan on an empty stomach. Well then, I'll see if I can get us a few bags of chips and a few cans of Pepsi. Go for it, Sonic! Hi, can I have three Pepsis and three bags of Doritos? Nacho cheese, please? That'll be eight dollars and seventy-six cents. Have a good day, Shonic. Wait, how do you know I'm Shonic? Everybody knows who you are. You saved a lot of people in Kingdom Valley. And if it wasn't for you and your brother, I wouldn't be here right now selling refreshments to train passengers. The Dark Brotherhood would have killed my family. You have a family? Yes, I do. My daughter and my wife were among the hostages at Station Square Mall. They were looking for a brawn dress for my daughter when they heard gunshots outside the Abercrombie and Fitch. You and your brother Sonic saved their lives. And because of your heroic deeds, you can take back the $10 bill you just gave me. But sure, I had to pay for it, didn't I? Oh, don't worry. This one's on the house. What's your name? The name's Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. I will never forget what you did for my wife and daughter, and for that, I am truly grateful. So why are you heading to Empire City? Golden Eagle business. We heard that Infinite is headed there. Oh yeah, it's all over the news. Infinite killing Scourge. That's all everyone has been talking about on social media these days. You're gonna stop Infinite, aren't you, Shonic? I will try my best, Lewis. I know you can do this, Shonic. I believe in you. It was nice chatting with you, Lewis. It's nice chatting with you too, Shonic. Good luck! Sorry about the wait. I had a little talk with the guy selling refreshments. His name is Lewis, and his wife and daughter were among the hostages at the Station Square Mall. Plus, he thanked me for saving their lives, so these snacks and Pepsis are free. Ah, how nice of him. I know, right? So how does it feel being famous? I'm honestly surprised. It's not like I have my very own mansion where I would just run around the hallways in my bathroom recreating the old time rock and roll scene from Risky Business. I still have 76 not hold drive, and I have my own lab and everything. But getting worldwide recognition for destroying the Sephiroth of Darkness with a Golden Eagle Blade? That's something else entirely. We should be reaching Empire City in a couple hours, so if you guys want to rest up, now's the time. But weren't we going to go over a plan of attack for when we get to Empire City? Right. I just hope nothing bad happens to you. Infinite already fucked up my world once. I'm not going to let him do it again. I wonder if he's still bulletproof. If he's still bulletproof, then we won't stand a chance against him. Nobody will. But Slate and Fiona are still alive, and we know that they're working for Infinite. We don't know who else is part of Infinite's crew, but we're about to find out.